Well, the most common fires in our homes start in the kitchen, but there's also another danger lurking inside the walls, a danger that you can't oftentimes see. But it's very real. Here, here to tell us more is Rusty Wise with Mr. Sparky. Mm. Rusty, good morning. Great to see you. Thanks for being here today. Good morning. Indeed. Before we continue, what is this thing <laughs> making all this noise and that it's, we see over here? It's an arc generator. It's a demonstration on how arc works. It's a Jacob's ladder. It's about 12,000 volts. Uh, basically, it's two wires, and a, it's basically a short. It's controlled dead short. Uh, in your home, you basically have two wires, but they're insulated. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that keeps this from happening. So this wire is insulated. If these wires were insulated, that would not be happening. Okay. We should not touch that thing. <laughs> you can touch it, but I'm not liable. So. Okay. 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 Well, how does that cause a fire when we're talking about this? Well. Fires are generally started by a loose connection or a screw through a wire or something like that. This is insulated, and when you get a loose connection, just like this bus bar right here, oh, see where that's burnt? That's all burnt up. That's because that was loose. Same way with this receptacle. You know, that's a loose connection. See how it's burnt? Mm -hmm. And also this breaker here is burnt. But one great thing that we have is an infrared scanner here. and. It will catch ghosts too. It's the infrared like the you know you see on TV, but it but it scans. And I don't know if you can see that, but it will pick up that heat signature. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if the camera can see that. Yeah, hold that right there. Don't move and we'll, yeah, you can see that. Wow. But it checks heat. You know we can't see heat and we can feel heat, but you don't want to touch a panel. But when we go into a home, we scan the panel to try to find problems like this mm -hmm. because there's problems lurking technology today will find that. Mm -hmm. So find hot spots. Yeah, and Mr. Sparky, you have the diagnostic tools to, to help detect any potential dangers lurking in a home. When we go in, we do a safety inspection and we will scan your panel for free on every home. We will do that because most time people wait till something's not working to mm -hmm. call us. Well, how often should like a, a customer check their home and check or call you and have it checked? I say once a year, once every two years. We're in the home every seven to ten years. Not like heat and air conditioned guys, they're in the home about every year. People wait and call us till something's not working. Mm -hmm. So every seven to ten years is the average and that's too long. We should be checking at least once a year. I know it is just something that we don't think about, which is why you come here on the show to remind us that we do need to be thinking about it. Can we talk for a second about fire extinguishers, please? Uh, many people don't even have one, or if they do, they don't even know where it is. The most common types of fires is kitchen fire mm -hmm. and electrical fires in a residential home. A lot of people don't have a fire extinguisher, or if they have one, they can't find it. They're digging in the cabinet. And of course, your cooks can tell you most of the time, if you have a fire, a lot of times it's a grease fire, and people want to throw water. Don't do it. that. Don't do that, but people <laughs> do it. Mm -hmm. And because they're looking something to throw in that fire. So, ABC fire extinguisher like this is definitely needed. Definitely needed. So, you got gotten the fires covered up. So, should I have these fire extinguishers everywhere in my house or just in the kitchen? Anyway, you can never have too many, but locate it where you can find it in emergency situation. Yeah. You know, just, you know, don't have them everywhere and you can't find them. And another one, should I be teaching my kids how to go ahead and mm -hmm. use this also? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. They're very simple to use. You pull the pin, you put it on the fire, and it goes out. Um, fires are started by electrical or human error. And in the kitchen, that, that's a big problem. We have smoke detectors here that will detect CO2, but they also detect smoke and gotcha. fire. Mm -hmm. And Eugene, you was asked me on one of the other shows, you know, what can I do? Do breakers not catch these problems? Yes. This is a new technology to where if it senses any arcing, it will trip. Okay. Now, this is new technology in the past couple of years. Um, Rusty, I want to mention that you've got a special offer for viewers today. If you buy Mr. Sparky smoke detector, you'll get a free, you'll get a fire extinguisher for free. If you purchase one or more Mr. Sparky smoke detectors, you will mount, will give you a fire extinguisher for free. We'll mount it for you, so for free. Wow. Let's take advantage of the special That's offer now. Call Mr. Sparky at 704-323-8006. Again, 704-323-8006. 323-8006 or visit carolinasparky.com, carolinasparky.com. Great reminders for all of us. Rusty Wise, good to see you as always. Indeed. Thank you, Thank you sir. Well,